Hello everyone and welcome to the ultimate guide to saving gems in One Piece Shadow Cruise or any other gacha game for that matter. I just hit 1000 gems after 3 months of saving so I know a few good methods to save gems. Today I'll be giving you 5 ways to avoid pulling and to save gems efficiently. Without further ado, let's get into the first strategy. Strategy number 1, the gem baseline. Not a lot of people really think of using this as a strat, but having a gem baseline is super helpful in saving. What this means is that you think of a, of a certain amount of gems you will not go below, for instance 1000 gems or 500 gems. You should first spend a bit of time saving up to this point, then any excess gems you gain past that point can be used for pulls or whatever else you want. The main reason for having a gem baseline is that you will always have a decent amount to spend when an unexpectedly good banner comes around. It also helps you polish your gem managing skills. It's a good strat because you can still pull over your decided baseline, but it also helps you to keep a good supply of gems. Strategy number 2. Avoid videos or screenshots of pulls. This is an obvious one, but I'll get it out of the way. Avoiding videos and other places where you'll be exposed to pulls will be your best way to avoid temptation. If this is too hard and you need to watch a pull video, then specifically search up pull videos um, where the people get bad pulls. It will discourage you from pulling. Another recommendation I would have would, would be to follow this Twitter account that reminds you to not pull constantly. I will link it in the description. Strategy 3. Focus on what you have. Most people disregard new units after a month or two of their debut while always wanting the latest and greatest exclusive units. Instead of focusing on new units, play around with and test the limits of units you already have and see how you can clear new content with what you have. It's actually fun team building without having all the units in in intended for the content being laid out for you. It also makes you feel more accomplished when said teams end up working. Strategy number four. Don't look at new banners. This means avoiding new news on new banners. If you don't know how good a banner is, then there's no temptation, right? It's a good strategy that kept me from wanting to pull on banners I didn't care about. Also try um, to avoid seeing how good the units are because that can also tempt you to look at the banner. So just don't look at any of the um, news on new units or banners. I mean, that is very restrictive and it kind of keeps you away from what's happening in the game so just avoid banner news because anytime it's, there's gonna be a, a decent banner it's gonna tempt you to pull so just don't look at like, steps for banners and anything really related to that or videos that explain the new banners so that is uh, strategy number four let's get into the final strategy strategy five don't do the discount multi this tip is a double-edged sword. It can be either good or bad for you in resisting. This means for instance, doing the discount multi on a banner. It can be good to subdue your urge to pull, but it can be bad if you get nothing good from said multi, which will only increase your desire to pull. At this point, you would have adopted the mentality of, I already started put spending, might as well go all in. In which case, you might end up spending all of your gems, I have definitely been there before, and I wasted so many gems on such trash banners. Overall, doing the discount multi could be good in the case of you pulling a debut unit with such few gems, but you should only do so if you are in the strong state of mind and go in with the mentality of, no matter what I get, this is the only pull I'm going to do. You need to be set on the fact that you're only doing the discount multi and that you aren't going further so that you don't waste gems. If you are just pulling because you, you want to and you can't resist anymore then you're probably in a weak state of mind and you're definitely susceptible to that mentality of um, just going all in and wasting gems on a banner that you don't really care about. Strategy number six, the bonus strat. Just don't pull you damn clowns. <laughs> 